All right, new at 10 o'clock tonight, a showdown is brewing between nature, the fury of nature, and a squadron of high-flying robots. U.S. government drones are prepared to take on these hurricanes and fly where no one has been before. Well, Fox 13 meteorologist Mike Bennett actually got exclusive behind-the-scenes access to some amazing technology that could take flight later on this summer. You've probably seen these everywhere from your local toy hobby shop to advanced military use. Well, now drones are ready to fly into hurricanes. One of the most powerful and destructive forces of nature is about to get a lengthy live look inside its guts. And we have this instrument called a uh, unmanned aerial vehicle. It's a drone. And what it does is um, it drops out of the tube. And if you can give me a hand here, pull that, those wings pop open, the stabilizers pop out and prop opens and it's piloted from the uh, P3. This traditional drops on tube is literally dropped from those famous P3 hurricane hunters right into the storm, quickly gathering weather data before falling into the sea. Now through remarkable innovation, this little seven pound drone will drop from a tube that breaks apart, allowing it to spread its wings and fly lengthy missions with key weather instruments on board. So what this does is give us information over a large area as opposed to just the uh, single spot measurements of the drops on. To stay safe, hurricane hunters typically fly through storms near 10,000 feet. Well, unmanned drones fly at just a few hundred feet above the sea, eliminating the human and financial risks. It's designed to go to fly around about one and a half to two hours down near the sea surface and to measure the temperature and pressure and humidity down, there to the, down near the sea surface where it's very difficult and then generally unsafe for the manned aircraft to fly. Drones entering new territory to try and solve a mystery of science. The physics inside the storm, that there's a lot we still don't know about that. And we have to be able to predict all that stuff, you know, accurately in order to predict the intensity. So how will this drone help improve our understanding of future storms? What's really important is one, the uh, ocean temperature under the storm, but it's also the atmosphere that overlies the ocean, which really controls how much energy would come out of the storm. NOAA hopes to begin test launching these new drones later this hurricane season. And if all goes well, we may see more and more of these drones used in hurricane research and forecasting in the years to come. And what's beyond that? Well, only time will tell. Mike Bennett, Fox 13 News. It's really interesting, yeah. isn't it? It yeah. is. Curious thing about that to me is it's going to show us the area in, under the hurricane. Sure. We don't Every uh, see and it's that energy transfer from the ocean to the hurricane that we still don't yeah. have a great yeah. handle yeah. on. Yeah. And that's why we have such a tough time predicting intensity. The forecasting mm -hmm. track, we're pretty good, but predicting intensity that's forecasting right. has are. always been yeah. a challenge. Mm -hmm. And it's that correlation between the warm water and the storm that the drone is going to try to help us understand. What do, you think it's, uh, what do you think it's going to give us that we don't know? Well, it's, it's going to give us that information right above the water, a place where obviously a plane or a helicopter can't go in a storm five or ten feet above the ocean. Yeah. Yeah. Cool oh, yeah. stuff indeed. It 